In Hinduism, you pay. Every birth is a rebirth. The karmic cycle goes on and on. In Buddhism, you pay. Even to a point where even your very ego does not survive each death. It's just the transmigration of karma, not even the you. Because there is no you in Buddhism. You will have Muslims tell you this, that they will be judged on the judgment day and their hope is that their good deeds will outweigh their bad deeds. I'm not misquoting them. That's exactly what they will tell you. I remember one man from Baghdad telling me that he counted his steps every time he went to the mosque so that he would keep a log of it as a good deed that he had done to traverse this distance. He'd go to a farthest away mosque in order to uh, accumulate the amount of good deeds. Every other worldview is works oriented. In the Christian worldview, it is grace. You are forgiven and the works do not earn your salvation, but they demonstrate it. And they come as a result of what it is that you have received from the gift of God. So next time you think it's cheap grace, take a look at the cross and ask yourself the question whether it really was cheap or the most costly thing you could ever imagine.